but they were facing a Sydney Olympic side with their eyes on the competition lead. Your commentators, Peter Wilkins and Rob Wheatley. The Canberra side somewhat depleted through injury and suspension. Bert, Musitano and Winnie all infringing their way out of play. Pressure on the likes of Hooker and Pollack to hold out the talented Olympic lineup. They're in a bit of a trough of form, the Cosmos. Sydney Olympic, no rush, he's gone. And Pablo Cardozo might be playing one of his last games for Olympic, heading, it seems, to the Spanish second division. Kalantzis and Aaron Basic, the goal scorers from last week, on the bench. Yes, welcome to the Bruce Stadium on a very, very balmy Canberra night. It's been warm all day, 18, 19 degrees and a little bit warmer. Almost summer in Canberra. It's not always the case. The Cosmos, though, with the work to do tonight and Sydney Olympic. If they're going to be a force in this year's competition, they're going to have to take the points from this match against a depleted Canberra side. We've seen the teams already. Rob Wheatley, what do you think? Peter, I, I always think that uh, there's an air of unpredictability about the uh, red shirts of the Canberra side. Certainly they've had some excellent results early in the season, but uh, as we've seen the Fortress at Bruce Stadium, sometimes can't be kept from their point of view. They're playing a very informed and effervescent Olympic side who can, in the groove, really take a team apart. And Sydney Olympic without Ian Rush, leaving after his two-game stint. He might have been a little bit of a disruption to the lineup in terms of overall fluency and the coaching plans maybe, but the overall assessment of his stay was that it was successful. A little bit has rubbed off on the players. There's a nasty challenge in the opening minute or so of this game. He as Watkins hugs the edge of the field. Does well to beat a couple. Good ball to Colpack. The bounce wasn't favourable for him. Almost a handball against De Jesus. And now the ball comes back to Harry James. To Pollack. Good build up for the Cosmos. The shot comes in. It's taken a deflection. It had no power. The best move of the game so far, and it's come against the run of play, and at the centre of it all, the experienced Jason Pollack. Yeah, I was a bit, uh, you know, looking at that first cross he put in, it was light, but the cover came in there late. Mante Jurek and uh, Pollack will be a constant threat down that side. He'll be expected to get some good service in. Hooker. Forward again now to De Jesus. That's a fairly harmless ball forward. And a little bit of a concern for Mendez. He might try and run it out. Certainly very early stages of this game. Bailey wide to Zorosic. The midfield comes to meet him. He recovered pretty well, Mendez, to find Wilson. Uh, I think he fell over more than James intervened. But he put pressure on. Careless ball from James, but it may well fall who's it going to fall to it's the veritable pinball machine as mendez can't even find the cross in he's in an attacking role now zorosic pumps the ball in far post uh, easily negotiated by the 19 year old grant barlow he's enjoying his first real full nsl season in a sense Battle for possession, the midfield, naturally a key area in most games, but particularly tonight in Canberra, the Cosmos play it pretty hard in the middle of the park as the Jesus has a few words to say. He's a vigorous player, talented, very energetic. They need a big game from him tonight. Rich. Emerton with the run, and he tosses it forward nonchalantly. That's a great ball in. The cross comes in, and it's right across the face of goal from Zorbas. An attractive move away from the outstretched legs of Pablo Cardozo, at least in his imagination. He was going to slide and score the goal. Great skill down, Rob. Direct play, and that it was uh, really a great balance. We talked about Branko Kalina, but he uh, really felt a foot should have been on the end of that uh, Neat cross, good play. Mm, well, indeed, both Tomei, he was first there as we watch a bit of action at the other end of the field. 
And then Cardozo, he was a mere spectator, but Tome perhaps had the best chance to tuck it into the back of the net. And gee, it was delicately placed there. You want to take those, don't you? Oh, he's a classic poacher, Norman Tome. I uh, spent some time with him uh, in a uh, lower leagues, and uh, he is very much the guy that finishes those sorts of chances. Now, Olympic restarting again through Emerton. Pushing it wide. And on the ball is Phillips. Mendes. Well, a heck of a lot of space in the middle of the park there for Peter Zorbas. Control eluded him, and Canberra can thank their lucky stars it did. And they might have been working backwards once more. Chance for them for a bit of a build-up, perhaps to get back in the game. They've made sporadic raids, but... On the evidence so far, it is Sydney Olympic and they'll take some holding out tonight. The lying there. Handy position. Again, space in the middle of the field. Zorbas touches it wide. Emerton. They work the edge. Shadowed by Hamilton. Just how much legs has he got as Emerton tries the shot. Good save to Not shy about having a blast. Curling himself momentarily. Looking for some continuity of possession. Is it going to come? Challenge in the back from PJ Roberts. And we'll have a free kick. And the card has the card been delivered. Looking for De Jesus. Cardozo, rattling forward. Good turn inside, beats a couple, beats a swinging boot as well. It's hooked forward by Hamilton. It'll come back, the shot. Oh, off the post it is! Gee, terrific stuff from Olympic, denied by the woodwork, and they're going to come again. Busy they were, Peter Zorbas. They have another crack. He's hungry, and now here's Tomei. Can he cut it back? There's going to be a corner. Well, it's all come in a bit of an Ian rush, hasn't it? What, really? What a great sequence. And it did start uh, maybe by luck, maybe by good fortune. But... And the ball in from Mendes. Hasn't been cleared away. Good control from Phillips. He tries to shift the keep. Oh, it's not too bad. It needs a hand. Offside is the call against. Shot from Pablo Cardozo again. Wicked left foot across the face of goal. The keeper beaten. The post saving the situation. No score. Canberra with some numbers forward from the clearance. Roberts just starting to come into his own a bit. Roberts having a real effect on the game. Marcus Phillips pumps it forward once more. Two on one. A few dividends now. Beautiful ball to Wilson. It came. Will it come back now? And the shot comes brilliantly in. And the goal is scored by it's 1-0. A terrific surge forward by Olympic. Clinically finished. And the away side takes the lead now. Well, bump and grind. There's a little bit of an off the park, and it's certainly on, Peter. That was uh, what they call just a textbook move. The creation of a 2v1, the overlap down the side. We talked about Wilson in this more forward position. His was a sensible angled cutback, and that is simplicity to the four, Gabriel Mendes. And again, a beautifully worked move. Cardozo was involved, so too Wilson. Oh, Pollack, very cool. Still working play forward. The cross comes in, looking for a head. Hamilton pumps it back into the centre. And the speculative shot comes in too. It goes over the bar. For Canberra. Tucks it inside of Emerton, and Hamilton gives him the return. Pollack's in the centre, and here's Hamilton working it to Pollack. And again, they lose out, and the enthusiasm stakes one feels. And Olympic, just look at the pace of their attack, the way they move forward. Mendez, they take the return again of Tomei. Oh, this is going to be a penalty, surely. Mendez is brought down. The referee will go to the spots. 
And they might even be a card here. Uh, Point before half time. Pablo Cardozo coolly slots it home. And it is Sydney Olympic 2 leading Canberra nil. And a blow, a heavy blow just before half time. And what a raid up the centre. A brilliant raid yet again coming from the likes of Gabriel Mendez and finished off by Pablo Cardozo. And the side foot coming to the fore for Olympic tonight. That was again, we talked about simplicity. What option was there for Barlow? I just couldn't uh, see him doing much because if Mendez had have gone past, I think he would have finished himself. Well, surely if he's brought him down though, and it's a penalty, and he's the last man, it's a red card. We, we saw this last week, we debated it, Peter, but uh, even more clear cut for mine. And then Hooker tucking it wide to Popovich. Facing back Pollack, Olympic. For urgency, Mendez releases the ball back and another speculator forward. I think they've got one eye on the clock, Sydney Olympic, although 2 0. Here's Bailey. Great surge. Loses control, loses out. Might be only an observation, but Hamilton does appear to be a bit of a passenger there at times with that hamstring complaint. He can't stretch it out fully and dodge and weave around. They're beaten down this side once more. Across to say them, David Millen. And that is half time. At a half time that will be well reflected on by Branko Kalina. The Sydney Olympic coach, two goals, and both of them coming from, in a sense, Gabriel Mendez. We know historically that 2 0 doesn't secure a victory, but Sydney Olympic certainly look the better side tonight. They can go on with it. They've got some strength on the bench, Rob Wheatley. And who knows, unless Canberra from, can find some favours, maybe score a goal, get back in the match, or tighten up at the back, we could be looking at four or five. Just as I say that, Harry James, a former Olympic man, makes a raking run into the box in the early moments of the second half. Well, you're right, Peter. Nade, and uh, certainly they are going to have to be realised by the home side Pretty abruptly. Here's a chance for Roberts. The strike ricochets away. Sydney Olympic, though, on the break have been explosive. It's not coming just yet. They go to win a corner. Oh, they yes it. And the ball in. Hasn't been cleared just yet. Tomei takes it away, hoists it forward. No trouble. Robbie Hooker allowing it to go through to Barlow who will be reflecting on being beaten a couple of times and maybe being a bit fortunate to stay on the field. We didn't examine closely that infringement close to half time which resulted in the, the penalty at some time. Uh, probably at home as well because it was quite clear cut as I said I think uh, Mendez had a definite chance of picking that ball up and finishing himself and uh, the reprisals didn't come, but I think uh, when you look at Canberra, when you look at the visitors, Olympic, you can add to that trio of excellent performers for the away side, Lindsay Wilson, and uh, certainly a very satisfying aspect as we look at him on screen that uh, he's come back against his old club. You're always fired up in those particular uh, situations, and uh, he's really been so strong. Well, that has to be a free play on quickly. Canberra, well controlled, the ball forward from Millen. And it's looked to be out of play. Arantz, not able to keep it in. Now Arantz, play on. Good advantage shown by the referee. Can he get the shot on goal? Oh, that's a terrific goal! David Arantz! Legs 11, they're back in the hunt. It is 2-1. What a surge. A and defender's dream, Peter, sorry, as he holds his head in uh, exultation. A fantastic finish. It may have been a uh, hint 
of a deflection, but he ghosted in there, and uh, really, there may be attempted block, or may have just been pure delight, but the net result is exactly that, and the comeback is on. Uh, Tomei sending the ball forward, and away goes Peter Zorbas. The cross in, and a real chance now. It's laid back neatly for... Oh! Is he taken off the ball? No. It was a legitimate tackle on Brett Emerton at the back. Desperate defence by the Canberra side. And this game, well, in the second half, it sprung to life with the Canberra goal. There's a bit of grabbing and pushing. Ball comes in from Tomei again in the centre. A glancing header from Emerton goes just wide of that left. Getting first to the ball. Keep the pressure on and things are happening for them. And now they've worked the Jesus into the clear. Can he get a shot on goal? Well, he can, but it was headed way out of the ground. We go to see a little cameo from Daniel Watkins tonight. Been reasonably quiet so far. Here he is, surging. Now Watkins, little chip, beautiful ball to Jesus. And the shot comes in solidly. Well, excuse me. Rance nods the ball forward, picks up Pollack. Rance again. And what is it about 2 0 in the head for a side? Away goes Tomei. It might not be 2-1 for much longer. Hamilton couldn't quite find his man Cardozo, but there's a chase on. It's going to be pumped downfield by Popovich. Watkins, a glancing nod on. Phillips is going to tidy up. We're not going to play it here, he says. Bahutsis. Bahutsis. Pollack. Great play, Pollack, with a cheeky little nutmeg, although the ball is, is one from him in turn. But I tell you what. <laughs> what a goal does, and uh, I really give credit to Canberra. That is fantastic for their spirit to come back and test the side that's just sitting off the pace in the National League after 10 rounds. And uh, they've got to keep it. They've got to make sure they don't allow this uh, Olympic side to put the foot back down. And that midfield, they'll, what a guard that, Olympic... Had wide expanses of territory there, but the game is opening up, and Harry James now rattles down that right edge. The chase comes back from Wilson. The ball into Pollack. Can he get a shot on goal, Pollack? He's into the area, flicks it in to Jesus. Offside, point blank range. It was a great save nonetheless. Oh, what a terrific raid down the right side from the Canberra side. Pollack, all the skill. How does Jesus? Didn't know he was offside. I don't know. He should have hung back a little bit. Foxy play, though, from the experienced Durich. We'd have to give him a pat on the back. He played his hand well. Well, I think uh, you've been pretty generous, Peter, in that case, because uh, in small margins, the fine cross really did bisect the two defenders that were uh, teaming up on Jason Polak. But uh, to Jesus, his last two efforts, I was critical of his first that ballooned over the bar, but uh, the last two are fine. He had to continue on that effort, and uh, Canberra continued to impress, and uh, they must maintain it, as I see. Thumping challenge from Phillips, winning out over Pollock, legitimately. And Olympic break free, bustling down that edge of Zorbas. The stages, Canberra a bit down, they're right up. Sydney Olympic, though, you just feel they could sneak another one on the board and make it even more difficult. The left foot shot comes in quite easily, quite coolly. Well, I think all our comments are underpinned, Peter, by that type of effort. It was just so efficient and so cool from Cardozo, and uh, no one would doubt the capacity of Olympic to come back in. Tomei beaten. 
Rantz laying off, sending it forward again. And the chase comes from Pollack. And Urich back to cover up. Entertainment plus. Well, Watkins loses out. Olympic now. Chance for them to break. And they do so strongly. Oh, good challenge, Robbie Hooker. Timed it perfectly. All the experience used there. Rance and Hamilton. The hamstring not inconveniencing him at the moment. Wide to Popovich. Wider still to Roberts. Possession football. Tucked into the centre. Olympic. Plenty back to tidy up. Urich. A little nonchalant back heel from Tomei. Very strong. Pollack and Arantz. Pollack makes the run. The ball in. Away just as quickly. And they're looking to break free again. Uh, Mendez and Tomei. Down that left and trying to set up the ball for Wilson. But look at James with the run. A great tackle out from Urich. Mendez. Fine ball picking up Emerton. And offside just wouldn't have been much in it. But over it. Enterprising move though. It was a great ball. Great vision from deep. Canberra proves it's very hard to chart what they're going to do. <laughs> It used to be a tough trip to go to Canberra, and I think uh, Branko Kalina did describe that uh, in his pre-match comments. But um, they're proving now to uh, be on a bit of a roller coaster at times, and their form over the last four matches has not been good for Canberra. And I'm sure they're looking to just get back on track, and a draw would be good, a win would be great. Now the ball back from Hooker forces the kick out from Barlow. A bit of a danger zone here for Canberra. Failed to clear it. Onside now is Tomei. And he has plenty of time to search out a friendly header in the middle. It's flicked on. The shot is going to come in. And is he hampered off the ball illegitimately? Peter Zorbas, the referee, says no. He'll have another bite, though. Brilliantly worked out to the edge. Great ball into the centre. Emerton. Chips it far post. Gee. Some good play. Some Enterprise play. from Mendez. And also Zorbas and Emerton. Looking for that far corner. This is Samani looks to uh, his reserves. Uh, a little bit on here for Dejesus. Spoons it in. Half chance. Watkins can't turn and loses out to Phillips. Cardozo to Phillips. A beautiful challenge from Pollack. He loses out to Cardozo. Sprinting clear. On the break, Olympic. Brilliant so far. Little chip inside. Was it a handball? Appealing Zorbas. He's furious. Oh, great skill on the break from Olympic. Now, De Jesus, he's been getting fresh, the former striker's man. Tackled back, Phillips, spurts clear. Emerson. He dinks it forward and goes. Arantz shadows him as it's left for Tomei. Will he get it back? Tomei just nudges it inside and I think knocked to the ground. Look at it again. He really couldn't do one thing. David Millen, he couldn't avoid that man. He didn't stop, and uh, again, you look at the ability to recover. That ball. Mendez. Oh, that's in the back of the net. Bailey has scored the goal. A 
Ireland for the third time tonight. He is beaten. It's 3-1 Sydney Olympic over Canberra. Branko Kalina tells them to get on with it. Look at the forward position taken and what a decisive header. Well, Branko Kalina tells them to get on with it. Uh, the uh, quiet achiever. Scott Bailey. And a chance for Olympic to really wrap this game up in style with another goal in the closing stages. Yeah, I agree, Peter. Zaka and Basic uh, probably felt a bit on the confidence boosted again. Bolak tosses it forward. <laughs> well, whose ball is it? The Jesus wants it, but I'm afraid Novo, it's not going to be your throwing. Pollock's had a terrific game tonight, capped 28 times for the Socceroos, the 31-year-old. The number six just to the left of screen there has been taking up many roles tonight, trying to inspire this Canberra team. As the ball's delivered back by Colpack. And tossed forward by Hooker. Again, plenty of Olympic numbers back in defence. Been pretty good at the back. They boarded the uh, young gun in Watkins, that duo for Olympic. And again, uh, despite that goal, Olympic had another strong defensive effort. A great platform for them. Yeah, so Popovich puts the ball forward. Canberra here. They need a miracle. They need Hooker. They need Polak. They need Popovich. They need the Jesus. They need everyone to go forward. We'll rattle up a couple of quick goals. Get David Millen into a goal scoring position as well. Simple. Time running out. Here's Polak. The Jesus. All in. Headed away by Urich. In time for uh, Mick Carl, who had uh, some fabulous impacts himself in the earlier games this year. Hamilton waiting for the support to come to him. Mendez, Emerton, nonchalant little back heel. Might come to Emerton again. He's offside though. Hooker. Not shot at the moment. Ball sent on the inside by. Zulbas as they battle away. Phillips strikes that first time ball looking for Zlatko, our Basic, who battles away without reward. And Olympic supporters watch this uh, as their side maybe would take just a, a temporary lead in the table at this Friday night point of the competition. Ball laid off by Zizus. Polak. Uh, the shot eluded him. The thought process has just slowed down a fraction, but for a moment there, a little bit of a turn and a shot might have been on. And that's a free kick and maybe a yellow card too against Marcus Phillips, who's shown the ball in. And the Olympic with a chance to clear away. And incredibly, that was Pablo Cardozo in, in defence. And the point I was making is that Olympic do have uh, Aaron Bassage, they have Scott Thomas at... Uh, Sadly, may not come back for some time. But uh, they probably do have enough firepower. 
You know, Peter Sakinas, uh, an experienced campaigner on the bench, and uh, certainly enough ammunition to uh, stay right near the top of this table. Now a chance for them. The shot comes in, and now it's going to be Cardozo with the left footer. Well negotiated. As they forward, forward down that left side. Is Latko Aaron Bassage oh, prominent? In the end, Marlow down comfortably. What's going to happen here? The ball comes in, and they'll have another quarter. Colpack at the near post with Emerton. And the hoops is with the punch. Again, neat skills. Arantz sort of splays it across field. And she's just battling strongly. And Hooker will want to pop it back in quickly. The player taken down. The referee is going to rule a free kick. And will he give a card? I'm not sure, was it Chris Zorosic? He has proved a thorn the goal scorer. Arantz uh, popping up on the right-hand side out of uh, his normal territory. Now, yeah, does Jesus break back to him? And Carl. Polak. James Pollack will chase Phillips. Now, the game figuring out a fraction in the last few minutes. Crying out desperately for a Canberra goal. Robbie Hooker knows it. And Barlow won't be happy with that clearance. It's going to just about give possession back to Olympic. Hard to motivate yourselves at times, but uh, they've come away with a an excellent result. Three goals, I think, for the first time this season and putting together a uh, five-week spell of four wins and one loss. So, uh, it's certainly in excellent shape. Well, what's left for Canberra? Certainly losing out like that, not much. Cardozo now probing deep in the heart. Aaron Bassic, can he get the shot in? Emerton across the face of goal. And there's a chase at the far post for Zorbas. Or rather, Carl, I should say. Nick Carl, of course. Well, now Canberra, with persistence, wins out. They come up with it. In their half, but not much on forward for them. Watkins is dragged off the ball seemingly by Bailey. Referee says play on. And they're trying a little bit of everything currently. That was Zorbas. The adventurous backfield flick. Solid players on the park. They've uh, really started well in defence. They've been powerful when they've had to have been. And, uh, and now half chance coming forward as Colpack, the low drive in, safely taken. And Purdue with the... Badly not to be. Knocked back. It's got to come in from Zorbas. Who's at the far post? Wilson, perhaps. He's been working that left side. And Arantz. Forlornly. Olympic. Possession. Emerton. Cardozo. Emerton. Let's hang on to it. Phillips. Square. Wilson lays it off. Takes the return, does he? No. Intercepting. Popovich. And 
Purdue gaining possession as quickly as they gain it they lose it and a chance now for Aaron Basic he's robbed by Robbie Hooker and so too Pollack so nothing coming off just at the moment for either side as the clock winds down it's scooped forward Pollack it's no rocket scientist behavior, behavior from Phillips there's the ball quickly in. Three minutes of time added on at the Bruce Stadium. There's the man who will reflect on a good night tonight, Scott Bailey. The centre of defence nabbing a goal with a glancing header forward from a set play manoeuvre. Corner kick. Plenty of depth. Phillips in. And there's a nice little snapshot from Aaron Basic. Right on full time.